Before the Constitution, the colonies mostly governed themselves, but as this did not work, the Constitution proposed a government based on federalism. With federalism, power is given to both the national and state governments. This system was the opposite of the government maintained in Great Britain. This separation of power allowed for the states to attend to unique needs while still united by central power. In the U.S., federalism was originally about making a stronger central government instead of using the Articles of Confederation. Some people, though, did not want to change the Articles of Confederation. These people were called anti-federalists. Anti-federalism was built around the idea that in Great Britain and Europe, the strong central government was dictatorial and a bad system of government. They thought that America was building a similar system and it would become the same as the British system. They protested by sending various anti-federalist papers to people so to convince them to drop the idea of it. The national U.S. government has powers to help enforce and amend laws which regulate national security and welfare. These are delegated powers. Some of these powers include the power to print and regulate money, the power to regulate interstate and international trade, the power to make treaties and conduct foreign policy, and the power to provide an army and navy. The power given to the state is necessary for the governing of each state's specific history and needs. Each state in America has authority over these specific powers, called reserve powers. Issue licenses, regulate intrastate business, conduct elections, ratify amendments to the Constitution, take measures for public health and safety, and establish local governments. Even though these two different parts of our overall government have different jurisdictions, they do have some powers that they share, called concurrent powers. They are collect taxes, build roads, establish courts, make and enforce laws, charter banks and corporations, spend money for your general welfare, welfare, and take private property for public purposes with just compensation. Thank you for watching our Common Craft video on federalism.